In a scientific breakthrough, Japanese scientists have found a way to attach artificially created living skin to robot faces for more realistic smiles and facial expressions. Robots will soon look like us. The question is, is this good or bad? Well, scientists in Japan are blurring the lines between humans and machines by creating a robot with living, breathing skin. Let's learn more about this new invention right now. So how do you make a robot with skin? It's not as simple as just slapping a piece of human skin on a metal frame. Scientists at the University of Tokyo had to get creative. They used a combination of collagen, a protein found in our skin that gives it structure and flexibility, and human dermal fibroblasts, the cells that produce collagen. To understand this more easily, just think of it like building a house. Collagen is like the bricks, providing the basic structure, while the fibroblasts are like the construction workers, constantly repairing and maintaining the skin. By culturing these cells in a lab, the researchers were able to create a sheet of living skin that could be attached to the robot's finger. The real breakthrough, though, came in how they attached the skin. Instead of using adhesives or fasteners, which can be unreliable and cause the skin to break or peel off, they developed a new method inspired by the way our skin attaches to our bodies. They developed tiny V-shaped holes on the robot's surface and filled them with a collagen gel. This gel acts like an anchor, allowing the living skin to attach securely and move naturally with the robot. But why go through all this trouble to give a robot skin? Well, the skin is our largest organ and it plays a crucial role in how we interact with the world. It allows us to sense temperature, pressure and texture and it's essential for our survival. By giving robots skin, we can make them more sensitive and responsive to their environment, opening up a whole new world of possibilities for how they can be used. Robots with skin can feel subtle textures, enabling them to handle delicate objects with care. The possibilities are endless. The pursuit of human-like robots isn't just about creating creepy lookalikes. It's about understanding ourselves better, exploring the boundaries of artificial intelligence, and potentially revolutionizing industries like healthcare, hospitality, and education. However, creating a truly lifelike robot is no easy feat. One of the biggest hurdles is the uncanny valley, a phenomenon where robots that look almost human but cannot quite evoke feelings of unease and discomfort in people. Think of those eerily realistic wax figures at Madame Tussauds. They might look incredibly lifelike, but something about them just feels off. The same principle applies to robots. If a robot looks and moves too much like a human, but its expressions or movements are slightly off, it can trigger a sense of unease in us. This uncanny valley effect is a major challenge for roboticists who want to create robots that people can interact with naturally and comfortably. However, Professor Shoji Takeuchi and his team at the University of Tokyo might have just found a way to bridge this gap. By covering a robot with living skin, they're taking a significant step towards creating a more realistic and less unsettling humanoid robot. The skin moves and wrinkles just like human skin, creating more natural and believable facial expressions. How amazing would it be if a robot nurse had a warm smile that could comfort a patient or a robot receptionist had a welcoming expression that could put guests at ease? These are just some of the potential applications for robots with living skin. But this is just one piece of the puzzle. Other companies like Engineered Arts Limited are also pushing the boundaries of realistic robot design. Their humanoid robot Amica uses artificial intelligence to engage in conversations and respond to human emotions. While Amica doesn't have living skin, its lifelike expressions and movements are powered by advanced facial recognition and animation technology. So why is skin so important for robots anyway? It's not just about aesthetics, it's about functionality. Skin is our largest organ and it's essential for our survival. It allows us to sense our environment, regulate our body temperature, and protect ourselves from harm. By giving robots skin, we're not just making them look more human, we're also giving them the potential to interact with the world in a more human-like way. A robot equipped with skin can sense subtle temperature changes and instantly detects a fire hazard in a factory. Another robot, its artificial skin mimicking the human sense of touch, gently cradles a newborn in a neonatal intensive care unit. 
This kind of sensory feedback could revolutionize how robots are used in industries like healthcare, manufacturing, and even search and rescue. It could also pave the way for more intuitive and natural human-robot interaction, blurring the lines between man and machine. But building a robot with living skin isn't without its challenges. One of the biggest hurdles is maintaining the health and longevity of the skin. Unlike human skin, which is constantly nourished by blood vessels, robotic skin needs an alternative way to receive nutrients and oxygen. Researchers are exploring the possibility of creating a vascular system for robotic skin similar to the network of blood vessels in our bodies. This would allow the skin to stay hydrated, heal itself, and even grow just like human skin. The development of living robot skin opens up a world of possibilities, but it also raises a whole host of questions and challenges. For one, there's the ethical dilemma of creating robots that are increasingly difficult to distinguish from humans. While this could lead to more natural and intuitive interactions, it also raises concerns about identity, deception, and even the potential for robots to replace humans in certain roles. Can we already see a future in which robots are so lifelike that you can't tell them apart from real people? Would you be comfortable interacting with a robot caregiver, teacher, or even romantic partner? These are the kinds of questions that we all need to grapple with as technology continues to blur the lines between humans and machines. But beyond the ethical considerations, there are also practical challenges to overcome. Maintaining and repairing living skin on a robot is no easy feat. It requires a constant supply of nutrients and oxygen, as well as protection from damage and infection. Researchers are still working on developing sustainable solutions to these problems, but the progress made so far is promising. So what does the future hold for robots with skin? The potential applications for living robot skin are vast and varied. In the medical field, it could be used to create more realistic and functional prosthetics, improving the lives of amputees and other individuals with disabilities. It's possible that in the near future, we could see prosthetic hands covered in living skin that's capable of sensing touch and temperature, providing a more natural and intuitive experience for the user. In fact, researchers are already working on developing such prosthetics, and the results so far have been promising. The cosmetics industry is also exploring the potential of living robot skin. By testing new products on robotic skin, companies can reduce their reliance on animal testing, leading to more ethical and humane research practices. This could also lead to more accurate results as robotic skin can be engineered to mimic human skin closely, providing a better platform for testing the safety and efficacy of cosmetics. In the fashion industry, living robot skin could revolutionize the way clothes are designed and manufactured. Just think how cool it would be if they were custom-made garments that perfectly fit your body shape and move naturally with you. Robotic skin could also be used to create more realistic mannequins that showcase clothes in a more appealing and lifelike way. However, the development of living robot skin also raises ethical concerns about the blurring of lines between humans and machines. Will we reach a point where it becomes difficult to distinguish between a real person and a humanoid robot? Will this technology lead to the objectification and exploitation of human-like robots? These are important questions that need to be addressed as we move forward with this exciting but potentially controversial technology. While the development of living robot skin is undoubtedly a groundbreaking achievement, it's crucial to proceed with caution. As with any powerful technology, it's important to consider the potential risks and ensure that it's used ethically and responsibly. This means engaging in open and honest conversations about the implications of creating robots that blur the lines between humans and machines. It also means developing guidelines and regulations to govern the use of this technology. We need to establish clear boundaries to prevent the misuse of robots with living skin and ensure that they're used for the betterment of society, not for harm. As we stand on the cusp of this new era in robotics, we must strive to strike a balance between innovation and responsibility. We need to embrace the potential of this technology while also ensuring it's used in ways that align with our values and protect our humanity. The future of robotics is in our hands, and it's up to us to shape it in a way that benefits all of humanity. And that's going to do it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again later.